to Christy's cooking channel. Today I'm going to be cooking the two cowboy cut ribeyes on my Red Weber kettle. I've actually already did the cook and I noticed when I was editing the video that I completely forgot to do an intro. So here it is. I was so worried about messing this up that when I first got outside and I was using the chimney starter, I didn't even talk. I was just focused on what I was doing and was so afraid to mess up. So you'll see in the video what I'm talking about. I cooked the two cowboy cut ribeyes using the cold grate method. They were two and a half pounds each and they were just perfectly cooked. I normally like my steaks medium or medium well. These were more on the rare side, but it was not cold in the middle, which is what I can't stand about eating rare. So I think I'll actually cook it this way more often. I've seen in comments before where people say it was too many steps or it takes too long, but it did not. It was really easy and I'll show you how I do it and I'll also link David's video at Adrenaline Barbecue Company show you how it's supposed to be done the proper way. I kind of missed a few steps, but it still turned out great. Normally this is when I say I'm going to bring you in closer, but in reality you're going to see me outside earlier today. It was pretty windy. It's like 55 degrees and real windy. So my phone camera was moving around a little bit. So excuse that. And I hope you enjoy. This is for Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin. Since I'm following David's method, I'm going to go ahead and flip them since the internal temperature is already 80 degrees. The thermometer is saying it's 110 internal temperature. I'm going to go ahead and double check it. It says 109, so that's close enough. 110. I originally started off with 30 coals to do the indirect. Uh, this is pretty much uh, almost a full chimney here. You gotta excuse me, it's the first time I used the kettle, so I actually forgot to talk, so sorry about that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I'm gonna use some Sang stir fry oil and some of the Chef John Polite's Insane Steak and Chop Blend. Right now I'm going to use the cold grate method.
I'm a newbie. That looks beautiful. Wow. Sorry, David. I'm still learning. <laughs> I goofed that one up a little bit. Well, more than a little. Not nearly as easy with these large steaks and these huge bones. He made it look really easy with those boneless ribeyes. Look at that color. Oh, I wish you could see it better. It got dark in here. Let me check the temperature. Still saying 110. Weird. One twenty two on this one. So I'm gonna leave this one over here and then uh, cook that one a little bit longer since it's so thick. so large I'm letting the bones and that fat around the bones cook a little bit like I said outside David made it look so easy doing the cold grape method it's not that it's hard it's just I uh, first time using the kettle and the cold grape method and the slow and sear. I got preoccupied and a couple times I messed up on turning the way I was supposed to and rotating the grape. So, but they did come out perfectly in my opinion. They have the all over sear that I was looking for. All right, now these will probably be a little more rare than I'm used to because I'm not used to that method. So this is right at 126. go ahead and cut into it see what it looks like oh yeah that looks beautiful I may start liking this uh, rare steak 
Using the kettle for the first time was so much fun. Hopefully this tastes as good as it smells and looks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite here. Oh, it's so tender. David knows what he's talking about. <clears throat> so good. As I always say, that was absolutely delicious because it was. I just want to thank David again at Adrenaline Barbecue Company for sending me the slow and sear. I love it. It did a great job. And there you have it. Thanks a lot. Last time I cooked the cowboy ribeye, I made the comment that maybe I should just pick it up and give it a taste. Well, I think that's what I'll do. It should have rested long enough to where it's not too hot. Mm. <laughs> Got a big piece of fat. Oh, that was so good.